In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate an easy, proper way to move iMovie projects into any library and hopefully reduce the iMovie library file size in the course. At the end of the video, I'll also bring up a kind of scary issue that you might come across. How to do it? Here's the principle. Firstly, we need to create iMovie libraries as many as we need in any location that you have an access to, such as your external hard drive. The second step is to move the project into the new libraries. Okay, in the rest of the video, I'll demonstrate steps in detail with examples. In the end, we may or may not see the library shrink. Now, since we're making a change to the existing library, if you want to play it extremely safe, you better make a backup to the original library. The library usually lives in the folder named Movies, which you can find from the Finder, and Go, and Home, there you go, movies. Here's it. My iMovie library is containing a handful of projects, taking up this many space. I'm gonna make a backup of it. Open up a new finder window. Go to my external hard drive. Drag and drop. Alright, backup's done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move around the projects from libraries to libraries without worry. Okay, step one. Turn on the iMovie application and create libraries. We do it by file, open library, and new. I'm gonna store it on my external hard disk. Just as an example, I'm gonna name it Java Tutorials. Here's the new library. Still as an example, I'm gonna create another library. This time, I'm gonna name the other library iMovie Tutorials. Save it. Here's the other new library. Now I'm gonna move some projects into these two libraries. How to do it? Okay, step two, go back to the projects. Well, at this point, I have to cover a subtopic. Look, my current library is all projects. You can notice no projects even showing up. It looks like a bug of the iMovie application. As long as the project files are not corrupted, at least in my case, I cannot imagine how I destroyed it. We can sort out the issue. It's fairly simple. Just click on the drop down list and switch to any other library. Now I'm gonna truth this. Alright, the projects are back. Fantastic. Let's continue with the step two and move the project into newly created library. So trigger this context menu, go to move library and select the destination library, which in my case is this. If your target library is not showing up in the list, you have to make sure it's open in the first place. Alright. The project is being moved. It takes a while to move the project, so please, please do not interrupt the process, or you might end up posing an irreversible damage to the file. So make sure you have continuous power supply, enough disk space, well-functioning operating system that does not crash suddenly, your disk is formatted in a modern file system and able to store large files, and you name it. Well, you can see the progress here. It's gonna take its time. The current progress is 9 out of 9. I'm not sure what the 9 is. The estimated time remaining is 1 minute. While the moving process is going on, I can make an order to move the next project. I guess nothing will crash. Even if it does, I have a backup. Move the next one. Well, if you want an extra level of safety net, you can copy first, then verify, then delete. Just FYI, some versions of iMovie like 10.2.2 will keep the original media files in what is called event when they delete project. You might have to delete the proper related event as well to free up space. 
Well, since I'm moving projects, instead of deleting them, I don't worry at all. So I'm gonna move the next project to this library. This project to this library. This project to this library. And keep going. Move the next one. The next one. And the next one. Easy, isn't it? This one goes here. And the next one. Alright, iMovie is now in the progress of moving projects as I command it. Do not interrupt it. The progress as I said is here. In my case, the current progress is 7 out of 30. I still don't understand how this 30 and 7 are calculated, but that's alright. Alright, almost done. Cool, the projects are supposed to have been moved to the destination. Let's go and verify. Switch to one of the destination libraries. Seems nothing went wrong. And this library has got the right project. Actually, that's pretty much it. I think you know the drill. One last thing before I end the video is to check the file size. This library takes up 400 megabytes, which is less than a gigabyte. And this one is less than 6 gigabytes. The original library was 44 gigabytes. After refresh, it's supposed to be very small. It didn't refresh. Let me reopen the folder. Nothing's changed. Getting a little bit awkward. Let's open up a new finder window and see if it makes any difference. Wait, I need to close the iMovie application. Now it should work. Great! Finally! It's shrunk to almost 0 GB, so the total size of the new libraries together is less than 7 GB. The original library was more than 44 GB. The size is reduced by 37 GB. Isn't that awesome? Though it doesn't happen all the time. Ok, I'm gonna do some health check and see whether the destination library is corrupted or normal. Seems nothing went wrong. iMovie application, you will most probably add the video. Oh, you can open it. Looking good. I'm gonna inspect the other library. Use if else they fair enough, nothing looks weird. That's it. Hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. In one of the next videos, I'll bring up the issue that you might encounter after following the steps we've talked about here and tell you how I would fix it. I'll see you there. Peace.